Okay, let's do some wallpaper switching. <laughs> Episode 14 of the How to Select Wallpapers on the Bad Labs YouTube channel. Yeah, this is where, where we are now. We have our module here displaying the name of the current wallpaper. We can switch and it uh, updates the name. When I scroll this icon here, uh, now I would like to add uh, some more controls here, you know, um, to yeah, to this control, so to speak, in, in our BWP control script. Um, the controls I would like to add are, uh, let's write them down. We want previous, we want edit, we want uh, delete, we want random, and we want next. Um, and then I would also like to, to add like a menu so we can, uh, if we like click the text here, we, we get a menu. So we can uh, choose a file from, from the menu. Uh, let's just write menu. And I would also like to add like a, a blur toggle here to this whole thing. And I think we can do all of this in, in one video here. Uh, let's go down here to update module because that's where we kind of build the controls. Uh, first, I would like to get some icons here for previous edit, delete, random and, and so on. So we'll use this uh, font awesome menu. Uh, let's see, previous, uh, left there, Chevron left. Uh, then I know there's one alternate pencil, and then there's one that's called trash, and then uh, random, and right. And that icon menu, I made a video a long time ago how to do that and whatever, just search the, the Bud Labs archives, you know, whatever, I don't know if I can find it now. Maybe if we look here in my playlists. Snap, pressed, Python, Sublime, I think I have a Rofi. I would guess that it is in, in this. Maybe not. Wh whatever. Um, okay, now we have our list of icons here. And of course, now we could just add this to this when we update the module. Save here now. And when I toggle the module now, Wow, look, it's icons, cool. But nothing happens and when I click this, it just toggles the whole control list. That's really not what we want here. Uh, we want the actions for each of the icons here. So I have found that it's a better way to, or the best way to do this is to uh, actually create individual variables here for each, uh, each of these. Uh, I guess we can call it icon, and then we have icon prev is equal to this, icon edit is equal to this, icon delete is equal to this icon random is equal to this and icon next is equal to this there um, and then we just add the, the variable names here i prev i Edit I del oops or whatever I random I next. 
then add some dollars. That's all the dollars we get here at Bug Labs. Um, and now we should have the same thing here. If you want to add like uh, actions to these uh, mouse actions, you can use uh, polybars uh, uh, format strings or, or whatever it's called. And you write that like this. Uh, percentage curly brace A for action and then the button you want to add an action for for example one A1 that's the left mouse button uh, and then a colon and then the action we want to execute when, when we press it so let's just do something simple here BWP wallpaper previous and then you end the command with a colon and a curly brace and then you also have to to do this to, to kind of close the action block so this action here BWP uh, WP here that will only apply to this part of the string here and then we can add action for yeah let's just do it for for previous and next year change that to next save now I can press previous here and it changed wallpaper, I can press next here and it change, changes wallpaper. But as you can see, it doesn't update the text here, but uh, the only thing we need to do is actually call uh, this BWP control script again here, we, just like we did in the polybar config, uh, like this BWP control next and BWP control prev, and then it will also update the module for us. Mm. Control next, save. Now it should work here. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, random is almost the same thing, you know. We can add that as really quickly here, also. And then we just say random here, clicking random. Nothing happens because we haven't added a random option here. We kind of need to do that. Random, and then just add R. And now it should work. Yes, now we get a random one and we can go previous and back. But as you can see, now we already have like very stupid application here. We could uh, clean this up a bit by, by adding all, all the arguments here to a single test and then you see uh, that the command the only difference is the second character here n p and r which is also the first character in in the arguments here so you could write it like this meaning it will take the first character from the first yeah this thing here whatever it will work uh, and then we remove these guys Previous or next previous random cool um, Edit and delete are a bit uh, different of course since we will uh, Or delete is actually almost the same thing here uh, Because to delete a wallpaper we just use uh, BWP H here to display the help and then we have the command here, D option, and then the, uh, an, the name of the wallpaper. Or if we don't specify a wallpaper, it will delete the, the current one. But as you can see, it uh, by default it prompts us here for, uh, for uh, if we really want to delete it. Uh, and the default option is N. And if you remember, uh, when we created this, uh, we made it so that if, uh, if we execute this script, not from a terminal, which would be the, be the case if we execute it here from, from the polybar module, then it doesn't display the prompt, it just selects the, the default action by default here. And that means it will select no and it will never delete it. But we also added uh, the test here, if the force flag is present, then it will skip the prompt completely and always delete. So that's, that's what we want to do in our BWP control here. 
Um, let's see, random previous. And then we have these, you know, next previous random. We could add delete here as well. Uh, and then it will uh, add a D here. But then we also need the force flag and we could add that here. It's a bit dirty, but it really doesn't affect the next previous and random options. So we, we can actually have the F flag here without any issues, I think. And then we can just add the delete action as well. And we need to do it here uh, and update the, the module because uh, when you delete a wallpaper, it will also set it to, it will change wall, wallpaper to the previous one. So if I delete this here now, there you see it deleted and set it to Sommarbrygge. Perfect. Uh, but now edit, that is a bit different because how I would like that to work is to uh, display a little menu over, uh, so we can edit and, and ed change the name of, of the wallpaper here. Uh, uh, um, yeah, let's just add a new option here called edit. Uh, and the menu, uh, I will use uh, i3 menu here. So uh, let's create a variable called new name is equal to i3 menu. Then we could do this. Um, layout mouse, meaning it will use uh, the mouse uh, position to 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 um, position the menu. Maybe we should do this, uh, and also we'll add Y pos one. Uh, force the, the Y position to the top of the screen. Uh, you need to use one here, zero, then you get the weird uh, bug in, in i3 menu. I, I think I have to look into that, but whatever, it will not make any difference really. Um, then it can be nice to set the width to uh, uh, something like 350 or something. And yeah, let's try this just to see how it looks here. And then we don't do anything here, we just test this edit function now and add it here. Edit, so close to action. Clicking the pencil. And there you see we get a menu uh, using the mouse position, uh, forcing it with the Y position so it's no matter where, uh, even if I click here, it will always be at the top of the screen here. But you see the X position, it is different. Uh, there we could see another thing we need to take care of. Um, we can of course force the X position with expos and, and then just set it to, let's just guess something, 500. I don't know where it will end up here, but we will see. Click now. No way, yeah. So yeah, this is position 500. And you can see no matter where I click on the pen, we, we it, the menu appears at the same location. But this is not very reliable because uh, the module itself can be placed at different locations, you know, depending on yeah which modules are visible. And every time, if I want to change my layout of Polybar, I have to manually go into this menu and change it. It's actually better to have a relative position to the pencil icon because I, where I want the menu to be positioned is here, overlaying the the actual title here. And then instead of using Xpos, you can use uh, X Offset. Uh, and set that to something like, let's try 99, see where we end up, clicking here. Now it's 99 uh, pixels uh, right of the mouse cursor here. 
So you can see it changes a bit depending on where on the pencil I click, but it's always relative to, to the mouse position here. So now let's just try to find some... Yeah, there it all is the text. This is fine, you know, you can see Worst case, we, we overlay the right arrow here a bit, but whatever, we are dirt hackers, we, we are fine with this. Maybe change it to 68 or something. Nice. Um, and I also like it to have the, the current wallpaper pre-filled in here as, as um, the filter. So we just copy uh, this, so we get the current wallpaper name. And then we add the filter option. Kurnam. There. I know this is a bit anal, but that's how I work. Uh, and now you can see, now it has the name here. And the, what we enter in this menu will be stored in this variable and then we can use that to rename here. And to rename it's bwp-x and then the new name and uh, the name of the wallpaper. But if we don't specify the name of the wallpaper we want to rename, it will rename the current one, which is what we always want here. So uh, all we do is bwp-x new name. Uh, and then we also update the module and now we don't need to test for the state here because we should only be able to execute this when the, the controls are visible but we could add the test also it doesn't really matter I guess we also um, should make sure that, that we have actually entered uh, a new name because sometimes you accidentally click this and if you press escape then the new name variable will be empty and then we don't want to rename or do anything here so uh, to test that we can just do uh, this and then do something like this put these guys in a block here yeah and let's remove that test it's just ugly there let's see if we can rename Wallpaper, let's take some random ones here. Polygon sun Sunrise. Let's rename it uh, to Yellow Skies. There. Changes there. And it's named Yellow Skies. Amazing. And if we go back in the history, go forward, <laughs> it's Yellow Skies. Amazing. Okay. Um, and uh, now we have all buttons working here. I would also like to be able to toggle the blur, or maybe we should do that menu that I would like. But if, if we click the actual name here, it should also take care of this too. So we only toggle the menu when we click the icon and not... Because as it is now, if I click the arrow here, we go previous in the history. But if I click between the arrow and the pencil here, that will toggle the menu because that action yeah it's like layered in a weird way here i, I don't know this is kind of hard to describe exactly uh, why it is like this but that's how it is so maybe we should do this uh, let's create a variable called label that is equal to or label what, whatever just like to do this to make it more readable put it in inside variables as you can see we could of course just skip all these variables and write everything in one single line but it gets uh, really difficult to manage it but what we can do to, to fix this so it doesn't uh, toggle the visibility when we click uh, in between the icons and stuff we can add a, a, a dummy uh, action here a1 colon colon meaning don't do anything and we, we add that action for the whole string here. Uh, and as you can see, I guess you, you get it now. Uh, that you can have layered actions. The same button 
in different layers and then it's the topmost layer that actually works you know but whatever now now it will work here i can click between the buttons nothing will happen at all here or now it did anyways Ah, okay, yeah, it's between these two buttons because the layer starts here. Uh, whatever. This is fine. Or to fix that, because I don't want it to toggle here either, it's because of this. If we go back to the polybar config, we change this to this instead. Remove the space here. Now it will look a bit more ugly here when I expand here. You can see now, now there's no spacing between these. Uh, but then we just add that space to our control instead here. Here. After the dummy action there. And now you can see, now it also doesn't toggle the menu when I click anywhere here. So let's add uh, action now for, for the current um, mm -mm -mm part also. Let's create one more here. We can call it I name, even if it's not an icon. Uh, A one colon uh, BWP control menu colon race Kurinam percentage brace A brace, and then we change this to I name and I don't know why I use this camel case here. I never do that. I I I, I don't know. It don't, whatever. Mm, and then we add this menu uh, option as well here. Menu. We don't need the current name, current path here. And the menu we want to display is. Uh, we could try to do it on, on the terminal. Let's expand this a bit, oops. Ah, that's right, it's floating, so it's double action there, whatever. So, the menu we want to display is um, the content of um, BWP did walls, you know, TMP, BWP, walls. Pipe that to i3 menu. Get a menu here. Let's make it a more better, you know, orientation, vertical. Um, what do we want more? With maybe 300. Um, y pos. 25 so it will appear right under the the bar here because my bar is 20 um, Let's use layout mouse again To, to use the, the mouse position and we can also use anchor 2 to have it centered from the mouse um, You can read all about this in, in the i3 menu uh, man page uh, what do we need more? Maybe a height. Uh, let's do 400 or something. Yeah, let's see what we get if I use this. There, and now we get a, a menu here. Yeah, this is something somewhat similar to what I want. And as you can see, it appears now uh, uh, at the same position as a mouse uh, cursor, but it forces it to Y position 25. And that's kind of cool, that's what we want. Uh, so let's copy this command here. And also resize our resize manually. So first we have this ls, but we can replace this, you know, with the environment variable. BWP dir that to 
i3 menu add these options Yeah. Is it anything more? Maybe change the height a bit. I thought it was a bit high. Um, let's change the name of the variable to new wall. And then change the command to W, which would change wallpaper to whatever we select in this menu. Save there left clicking this and we get a menu and you can see it's centered on the mouse here that's what anchor 2 does here when I click here I click here it's centered below below the mouse here uh, if you change anchor to for example 1 here you'll see then the menu will appear the left side will be aligned with the, the mouse but 2 then the center is aligned there are actually 9 different anchors but whatever I think 2 is, is, is the one we want here <coughs> uh, and also let's see if it works so if I select TBI here <laughs> it changes the TBI and updates the module pretty cool um, last thing I would like to add is, is to add the blur option and I think we could add that as a global uh, global option or like this because we can still scroll, you know, this uh, dummy option we added uh, that nullifies the, the toggle that only this only nullifies the, the mm -mm, left click action here that is defined in polybar uh, you know this control toggle, that's A1 but the, the scrolling here, those still works all uh, on the whole module and I, I, I kind of like that behavior and as you can see here, I have also added a click right to uh, toggle the blur uh, and when I think about it we don't need to, to do this we can actually call BWP B to toggle the blur of the current wallpaper if we right click here so if I right click the module blurs we should be able now to right click anywhere on the module and I don't know I, I, I think I want it like this so, so this is how you toggle the blur and then left click is for everything else uh, but maybe just to make it clear here what how this works uh, if I want to, to disable right clicking from the rest of, rest of the module here then I could just add a null uh, action here for right click which is called A3 then I also need to close that here and now we will not be able to right click anywhere here but as soon as I right click the icon it blurs but I actually want, want to be able to right click the whole uh, module so yeah I don't know maybe uh, let's see what's the time 28 no you know what this is fine right um, because in, in, in my old version I, I also had some some um, <laughs> some some more intelligence here that that um, tested if if it uh, were the where in the history we were in in bwp here do we have that now yeah here it is so you could see that if we were at the top of the history here then it didn't display a, a, a the right arrow here because then it's always random when you go next you know and if if there are uh if the history is empty or, or only contains one entry then we don't display the left arrow that's how I made my, my old uh, version work I don't know but or let's do it it's very easy when I think about it I don't know why I go into these unnecessary runs sometimes because we have it here you know hmm Or let, let's just do that, toggle the, the next button, uh, depending on if we are at the top of the history or not. Uh, that means 
if we could do this. Or let's copy this one here. Move this. And remove these. To see if we are at the top of the history, you know, we can just uh, do a test. Yeah, we got Kurnam here, that's good. Uh, so, if Kurnam is equal to um, BWP dir slash history uh, let's put this in quotes and the first line to get that we can just use head one so if kernam is equal to the first line of history then we are at the top of the history and then we don't display i next here so or I next. Yeah, and then we don't do this, then we do LBL plus equals. You can do that, right? So long ago. And then finally we add the name. So here we change this to, I guess we need to add a space here also. I think this will work. Um, I don't know, we've got the space there. Uh, oh, what did I do? This is good. And let's see if we can bring up the history again and see if this works. Uh, so eval apply is the top of the list here. So if I click again now, now you can see uh, the the next arrow disappeared because we don't we are at the top. So it uh, next is actually random. But as soon as we go back, then the arrow appears. Pretty cool. Whatever, maybe that was overkill, that whole last thing there, but uh, yeah, it was a three minute thing to add, so, so whatever. Have a great day everybody. Next video we take a look at the uh, i3 lock, add that to our BWP thing, and then the script is complete. Except that I would like to refactor it a bit, uh, so we can make it more portable, get rid of this, or not get rid of it, but... Yeah, you will see. We will make a one script file, add all the library stuff into one file. And I also would like to take a video here. As you can see, all my other scripts like i3 menu and stuff. And also, I guess I should mention that i3 menu, you can find that on uh, in i3 as uh, there is a script called i3 menu. I have made videos and stuff about this before, it uses Rofi, but gives you a lot of extra options so you can really uh, um, make cool menus like this and this. But of course, yeah, now we can see the offset is really off here. Ah, of course, that's now, yeah, th this is really annoying because now we, we, we don't have the forward arrow there and when I click pencil now we get this weird stuff and that's kind of super annoying um, yeah I know how to fix it whatever let's let's add it let's add it 
VWP uh, control because it's more or less the same thing as here but with the edit menu here since we already have the current name and stuff uh, then it doesn't cost us that much to add this uh, and we can create a variable here called xpos uh, and here xpos is uh, less than 68 so maybe pff, I don't know 62 Or x plus equals 68. And then we just set this to a variable x plus toggle it pencil looks legit. Go here, no arrow. Yeah, it's better. Maybe a little less here, maybe 58. Right now, pencil. Uh, even even less, right? Maybe 55. Pencil. There. Nice. And if we... Oh, oh, oh. Life of a dirt attacker, my friends. Life of a dirt attacker. Okay. Have a great day.